A local organization is looking to help those with autism by coming alongside them and their families with information and support. You can help the organization at an upcoming event. Joining us this morning to more talk about that is Susan Crowell. She's the executive director. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Before we jump into the event, can you tell us about the Autism Ally program? Sure. My Autism Ally is an organization that provides free resources for individuals and families affected by autism in Northeast Indiana. So what exactly is cruising for acceptance? It sounds like a lot of fun, if you ask me. Uh, we're hoping it's <laughs> going to be a lot of fun because, um, you know, we have a pandemic and maybe walking together in large crowds isn't exactly the best thing Probably to do. Not. <laughs> we decided that why don't we get in our cars, decorate them, and show our um, love for individuals with autism. What other kinds of things will be there throughout this event? Um, primarily the event is going to have music, some entertainment, um, some prepackaged food items for safety, as well as a vendor fair. So families can come and talk to different agencies that provide services here in Northeast Indiana. Okay, you sparked my interest, vendors and entertainment. Can you give us any inside scoops on who will be there? Um, we have a lot of different um, organizations that are coming, ABA centers, um, case management companies, um, pack and respite centers. Um, these will be resources that the autism community are very much familiar with. Where will the route take you for the cruise in for acceptance? Well, we are going to be outdoors in the Glenbrook Square parking lot for the locals. That's going to be the old Carson's upper level parking lot. We'll be heading um, out Fern Hill, north on State Road 3, DuPont Road, back down Coldwater Road, and then back to Glenbrook Square, where we will have activities from 1 to 4 p.m. So what else can you do if you can't participate in cruise in for, you know, for this, or for this event, what if you can't participate? Are there other ways you can get involved? Um, sure, there are. Please go to myautismally.org to find out about all types of opportunities that are going on in northern Indiana. Do you have some that you can give us insight to as to what those opportunities could be? Um, well, for the types of services we offer, we have a blog, we have a podcast for families that are looking for information about events that are going on, local support groups. Um, there are a lot of things that are available. So I heard something about decorating your cars. How are you encouraging people to decorate them for this event? Well, well, we want it to reflect your loved one with autism. So if your loved one with autism is really into Minecraft, then come up and do something creative with Minecraft or Thomas the Train or, you know, whatever it is. We want it to show that we are celebrating autism acceptance. So the vendors and entertainment, when will that be happening throughout the event? That will be happening from 1 to 4, even in through the time that we're at doing the cruise portion of the event as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Cruising for Acceptance is next Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. at Carson's Law at Grim Glenbrook Mall. Cruising starts at 2, rain or shine, and decorating cars is encouraged for the ride. Admission is free, but donations are accepted and will benefit the families and individuals of Northeast Indiana. Thank you again for being here with us this morning. More information can be found on myautismalley.org.